So welcome to the 6th Bootstrap 3 tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating a modal, which is this thing that you see right now. It's essentially a pop-up box, which puts the background as dark, like, I think it's, yeah, this is actual black, it's not even transparent, and the foreground goes white. So this is on in focus, and the background is sort of out of focus, and then if we click away from it, we go back to the main page. And we can also press cancel here, uh, whatever. So up here we've got a header, Oh, just closed it. We've got a body and we've also got a footer. And the header contains header text, obviously. The body can contain any HTML elements you want. And the footer contains uh, buttons or text or whatever. So this is what we're going to be creating. However, in this video, we're not going to be creating this form. Because this form actually gets quite complicated in the code. Uh, it's more complicated than the actual modal itself. So I think I want to leave this. Uh, if anyone requests it, then I will do a tutorial on it. Um, however, I know a lot of you won't need the form, so there's no point showing you how to do it if you won't need it. So, in our code, I'll close that now. In our code, the first thing we want to do is head over to our contact button, because that's the button that we're going to bind this modal to. We want to change this, ha this hashtag to contact, so hash contact. And this is basically like a reference for jQuery. So this is going to, sort of, or for JavaScript in general, this is going to trigger JavaScript, uh, it's like an event, so that JavaScript knows to open this modal. So whenever the JavaScript receives this event almost, it's going to open the modal. And we'll also name the modal the same thing as well. We also need to add a data dash toggle, and set this equal to modal. And we did a similar thing when we did uh, the dropdown, of this we're using a modal to tell it to open a modal rather than the dropdown. Uh, so obviously nothing's going to be working yet because we haven't actually built the actual modal. So that's what we're going to do now. So scroll down to the very bottom of your site, just above the uh, script tags, so for the JavaScript and stuff, but below the footer. Now we want this to load almost last because when someone clicks on your, when someone comes to your site, they're not going to open uh, the modal straight away. They're probably going to give it at least sort of five seconds. So we have enough time to load the page because. HTML is loaded from the top to the bottom. So here what we're going to do is create a div with a class equal to modal. And we also need to add a transition for this. So the way it's going to come in. So we're going to use fade. Um, I'll link to the bootstrap documentation below. It will, list you, it will give you all the different types of classes you can use here. But we're going to use fade. So uh, we don't actually need the spacer. So inside here we need to create another div with a class equal to modal dash dialog. And then inside that, we need to have a div with a class equal to modal dash content. So bootstrap's a bit weird how you have to have millions of, of divs inside each other. Then here, we can have another div with a class equal to modal dash header. And then here, we no, 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 another div. Here we're going to have a paragraph tag, and this is going to be contact text site. To our main div class, uh, our main div, our modal div, we can have an ID equal to contact, and this must be exactly the same as, uh, where is it, as this. So this is just referencing this modal. And we also need to have a role equals to dialogue. And now if we go into our live preview, press contact, see we've got our dialogue. Doesn't look great, but it doesn't matter. Um, also, one thing, I don't know why I did this, this should be a H4. So, uh, yeah. So now, if we go back into it, it looks better like that. So next thing we're going to do is add our body. So it currently doesn't look great, but when we add our body, it'll look good. So we're going to have another class, so a div. Lots of divs in this. Class equal to modal dash uh, body. And inside here, what we can have is paragraph tags. So this is where we do need paragraph tags. And I'm just going to copy some information about lower ipsilon, not lower ipsilon itself, but the information about it. And if we go into here, it all looks really nice now. All we need to do now is add a footer. So this is just quite simple again. Uh, we can have a div with a class equal to footer. And then inside here, we're going to have, well, let me just save this actually. I'm going to put test. 
Save that. Contact. Could be done wrong. Sorry, this should be modal dash footer. We come back into here. We'll see what this footer here. It's all looking really nice, and it aligns to the right by default because that's where we want our buttons to be. Buttons are generally on the right hand side. So now we're going to create our actual buttons. So this is really simple. You can either use. Uh, I'm actually going to use just a tags. So you can create these like normal buttons if you want, or you can. Uh, this in this case we're going to create a close button. However, you could link this to a proper site if you wanted to or whatever. So we're going to have an A class equal to uh, BTN and then BTN dash default. Now you should know what these are by now if you've been following the rest of the series. We're just giving it the button behavior and everything and the looks and then the color. And then inside here, we're just going to have close. Okay, turn this up a bit. And if we go back into here, contact, we've got our close button. But it does nothing right now. Obviously, you guessed it, we want it to close the window. So what we're going to do is a data dash dismiss. It says equal to modal. And what this does is it's basically saying, what do you want to close? And we're going to say the modal. So it's going to close the modal that this is inside. So this link is inside this modal here. So Sorry, well, this modal here. So it's going to close that modal. So now if we go contact, uh, you can see we press the button and it closes. So this is all looking really cool now. We could put a form in here, we could put a picture, we could put whatever. But we're going to leave it at that. You can have a second button here. So if we wanted, we could copy this. Make a paste it here. And I'll change this one to a primary. Actually, no, sorry, I'll change this one to primary. Save that. Come over here. And you see we've got our two buttons. Should actually, I was right the first time. That should be a default. And this one should be the primary. So now if we go back into here, see our primary ones over here. And you can add extra text or whatever. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you found it useful, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out. Uh, the subscriptions are going up really quickly lately. I'm on 550 something right now. So yeah, they're going really quickly. Uh, so thank you all for watching, commenting, rating, subscribing, doing whatever you do. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.